Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How you guys doing out there today, man? So today we're diving into some Dan Fogelberg longer. Okay, this is a donation request. Now, once again, as it happens sometimes, I do have another video of Dan coming up in just a few days. Uh, but today we got a donation request and I pushed that if I got room right there to the front, man. We got room today. So thank you for the donation request. I really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and read this one off. It says, hi, Sean. I'd love to see what you think of Dan Fogelberg's Longer from 1979. Just a recording from his 1979 album, Phoenix. You have been working so hard here on the channel. Dan Fogelberg was an amazing musician, singer, songwriter uh, who had an easy folk style with a beautiful tenor. He had control of his vocals and ability to hit low and falsetto notes. Uh, but I don't think any falsetto is going on in Longer. Longer is a sweet love song take care i appreciate it thank you so much for the donation request and supporting the channel in this way really appreciate that so let's go ahead dive in hit that play and see what dan is talking about on this one uh i look forward to you guys seeing my one in a couple days i have from him but um yeah just learning man quite the penmanship going on here one thing i really love about artists that i tap into is listening to them uh, and and hearing their stories and what they share uh, so we're going to be diving in right here hitting that play before i do don't forget to like subscribe check out the description you guys are enjoying the channel all right thank you for rocking with me here we go Stars up in the heavens I've been in love with you mm. You ain't kidding about a singing Stronger than any mountain cathedral Truer than any tree ever grew Deeper than any forest primeval I am in love With love on our way Wow Through the years As the fire starts to mellow Burning lines in the book of our lives Though the binding cracks And the pages start to yellow I'll be in love with So foresty sounding just out in the woods. Longer than there have been fishes in the ocean. Higher than any bird ever flew Longer than there have been stars up in the heavens I've been in love with you I am in love with you Man, so Dan can do the love songs too, man Those lyrics, man, actually make me think, right? He's saying longer than any of these things have happened. Longer than there had been fish in the ocean, man. Longer than the existence of many things. So that makes me think even deeper, like, this was always destined to happen. Me falling in love with you before my creation, before my parents' creation and their ancestors and the earth. This was always the projected path was for me to fall in love with you. Like, dude, just think about that. Think about that. 
when you're feeling that way about somebody that deep when you write it down like Dan did right here, longer than anything, this has always been the projected path of my destiny was to love you the way I love you right now. Like that was always in the works. That was always in the bigger picture. It's pretty crazy when you think about it that way. That's pretty crazy. Uh, Dan, man, just one thing that I'm learning about so many artists from this time, they can really pin some love songs Put me to shame, man. Put me to shame thinking I could write one day. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just joking. Like, I, I don't feel shameful about that. I think it's amazing that they can do what they do. Um, I still plan. When me and my wife first started dating, I, I doubt she could even have this anymore. I don't know. I don't know if she still has it. But what were we, about 16? It was either when I, I wrote it either when right when we met in that same time frame or sometime after that. But I, I wrote her a love poem. Um and I've always wanted to just kind of do it again, right? Because it's been so long since that time. Uh, but I remember at that time, she'd always carry it, like, folded up in her purse. Uh, it was always a thing that she had on her. Uh, but time goes on. I mean, we're, we've moved states and everything during that time. Traveled out overseas. I mean, you know, lived our time in Hawaii. And uh, it's had quite the journey that I'm sure we probably couldn't find that paper anymore, but I thought it'd be kind of nice uh, eventually to go back and just write her a sweet little love poem for her anniversary or something. So it's been on my mind. I'm sure I would do it. I just don't know when, but it's going to be like a nice throwback. Remember when I wrote you that poem when we first met? Well, here we are now so many anniversaries later, and I'm still trying to do those things for you. Um, so Dan Fogelberger right here, throwing it down right here, man. Uh, instantly, I'm just feeling the plucking of those strings on this song that he's playing with that acoustic, man. The nice little symphony sounds that come in, right? You've got the violin. Was that a trumpet that I heard there? I don't know. The, the brass, I'm not too, too fond, or, or not too familiar with. I'm definitely fond of it. I'm not too familiar with the brass, so I don't know which ones. But it definitely gave me like a woodsy vibe, almost like the, the Renaissance type of error right woods uh woodsy instruments and stuff like that i don't know why it just kind of put me in that pocket where i could just think about sitting outside somewhere maybe with the woods to our back listening to this uh, or like a little campfire in the woods something like that definitely gave me those kind of vibes very forest woods going on in my mind let me know if you guys connect with that you understand kind of what i mean but let's dive into this one all right, guys, so we got Longer right here from Dan Fogelberg, and this was released in 1979 by the songwriter is Dan himself. Man, this song can be found on Fogelberg's 1979 album, Phoenix. It was also included on his 1982 Greatest Hits album, as well as various other retrospective and comp compilation recordings. Fogelberg, who had released more rock-oriented songs throughout the 1970s, jokingly described Longer in the liner notes to one of his retrospective albums as... The song that put me on the elevators. He wrote the song while vacationing in Maui. Why am I not surprised, man? Beautiful place to be inspired to write a song like this. Lounging in a hammock one night uh, and looking up at the stars. It just seemed this song was drifting around. The universe saw me and decided I'd give it a good home. That reminds me of ways that I've heard people describe songs that they've written and hits that they've made before. Is that those songs always existed, but then they found like the right person to bring it out which is interesting because i think of music as coming from our own experiences through our own lives uh at, at least for the songwriters who write them um or you have a very keen observation a way of observing other people and habits in the world uh and interactions in society and you can put that out into song um that's the way that i look at music being written is in those two ways but I like these kind of perspectives that I hear from other people kind of just saying, hey, this this thing existed and it used me to be its voice to birth it into the world. Like that's interesting to think. It's almost not giving um, the, the credit to yourself. It's just saying, hey, giving the credit to the universe. I like it, man. I like that idea. I, I, I don't see it that way, but I like it. I appreciate the thought uh, when I hear that. It's just a cool way of thinking about it. Uh, accompanying Fogelberg's vocals is, is an acoustic guitar played by sing played by the singer. Yeah, okay, so that's Dan just doing amazing work on the guitar as well as a flugelhorn solo. There we go. So if I saw this, I would just think it was a trumpet. That's how little I know about brass. Um, it's a flugelhorn. Okay, so let me check this out. 
Okay, so I've got the trumpet over here on the screen that you can't see, and I've got the flugelhorn. Hopefully, I'm even saying that right over here. And I could see why I would get them confused, being somebody who doesn't know anything about instrumentation. I really didn't play any instruments outside of trying to learn a guitar once, and I, I failed horribly. Uh, but I do see the similarities kind of linked between these two instruments. All right, this is lyrically the song compares various events longer than there have been stars up in the heavens with his emotional attachment to the one he loves. I've been in love with you. Yeah, we dove into that a little bit, giving you guys the idea that I thought was going on there. Apparently, you've got a harp on here as well. I thought I was hearing a violin, but I guess it just says lead vocals, acoustic guitar, flugelhorn, and a harp. So those were the sounds that we were hearing here. I thought they were put together very well, made a very sweet sounding song right here. So appreciate this one. Thank you so much for putting me onto this one. I hope you guys enjoyed rocking it out with me on this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget before you go, if you guys are enjoying the channel, to like, subscribe, check out the description. Consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or Patreon if you'd like to support me. Let me know more from Dan that you guys would like featured on the channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.